kidding. Maybe. Darling, Yo, it's Anne, aka Antagonist. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, where we talk all things books, movie, and TV with an emphasis on romance. We're reacting to the Bridgerton season three trailer today. Normally, as a nine to five corporate girly, I would never, ever, 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 and I mean never, film a video right after a long work day. But sometimes exceptions need to be made for your favorite child. And Bridgerton is she. We love Bridgerton here. I have many a videos, hours long podcasts talking about my opinions and feelings about Bridgerton and talking with my friends about it. Going into season three, I will say I'm super excited, but I'm V nervous. I am not a Colin and Penelope truther. They were getting on my last nerve in season two. I felt like they flattened Colin's character so much in season two. And then Penelope was doing too much. I was not happy. I didn't like it, but I have really been impressed by what has been shown so far. I really like the premise, the love coaching idea, I think is very good. I love that trope, so I'm excited. And I am a friends to lovers girly at the end of the day. So I have faith that Shondaland and Netflix will convert me again. Because, you know, I always remember that I was the biggest Anthony hater in season one. And look at me now. I slowly, I slowly started to be seductive by him. Like he started to seduce me. <laughs> I know that they have the power to change my mind. And I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Let's just... Get into this trailer. And dearest gentle reader, we have been apart for far too long. Oh, she, ooh, she looks good. At last, London's fashionable okay. scent has made Granny its return. getting her debut. And it oh. seems that our bon ton is moving with the change. Oh my gosh. So Talking to Cressida or whatever her name is? I cannot live at home any longer. I must take a husband. Does my lady have a suitor in mind? Is that a brother? Colin? What the heck? Brother. Under what foreign sun did you apparently get so sturdy? Not them saying you got hot, <laughs> but like in a brotherly way. Oh, well, it's good to see you. Is it? Something wrong? It seems as though every Bridgerton was born to attract notice. For some of us, notice is very slight. If a husband is what you seek, let me help you. Are we not friends? Mm. I should like to see your skills as they are first. How delightful to see your splendid weather we are having. Okay. I would not be angry if you found me to be a lost cause. You must not say such things. You are Penelope Featherington. Do not forget that. She's not seeking a husband in you, I hope. No, I'm only helping her find one. Since when are you worried about Penelope? Oh, they're showing the flame igniting. What this author I get it. To symbolism is that diamonds are not the only gems that sparkle. I actually don't like this dress. <laughs> I preferred the other color. He is eager to take a wife this season. You look especially beautiful tonight, Miss Featherington. You have done very well, Penelope. What more could you want? Mother. Do you believe the best foundation for love is friendship? It is rare, but you must follow your heart. What is the primary force that guides us along our path? Oh! Who is Violet talking to? Excuse me. Penelope. Is it our minds or our hearts? Okay. Interesting. Okay, I'm not gonna lie, at first glance, first thought, that didn't really give me much. I didn't learn anything new from this trailer, I guess, other than like a lot of the stuff that was happening with the side characters. Penelope and Colin, it's pretty much like everything we already knew, which I don't think is a bad thing. Like I don't like when trailers give everything away. I'm going to watch it again, do a little analysis. You see, yeah, probably getting ready for the first ball of the season, Shea Danbury. I love this look. She is slaying here. Like, she's giving you face. Ooh, Penelope. That's good. I'm giving it to you, sister. I'll give it to you. There was also not a lot of, like, whistle-down stuff in the trailer. I feel like that's what shocked me, maybe. 
Like, it was mostly just the love story. It had nothing to do with Whistledown. And Loki, that does go to my theory that they're gonna end on the cliffhanger of Colin finding out about Penelope being whistled down. Like, a hundred thousand percent that's what's gonna happen. Calling it. Canthony in love. That our bond Tom is moving with the changing tide. So, is her name so Cressida? Too. Whatever, mean girl. Clearly, Eloise is friends with her and all of a sudden now. Which I feel like is weird. I'm eager to see how that conversation goes because like honestly maybe they've both been talked trash about in the whistle down column so I could see like that's why they end up bonding low-key. Oh and that's oh, Madame Delacroix talking to Penelope about like, what kind of man are we trying to catch and I think like you know clearly Madame Delacroix is going to be the one who you know helps Penelope with her glow up. I did not like that. <laughs> that didn't work for me. I love the brotherly teasing. I feel like that's a lot. Like, I don't know, her idolizing the Bridgertons, like, baby girl. What do you see? Let me help you. Are we not friends? Okay, I like that, though. It's giving Penelope's accepting that they're just friends. Because I think I need that stage from her i know a lot of people are like calling for her to be angry at him and think that he's like the worst thing to happen and obviously what he said was really bad but outside of that slip up colin hasn't done anything wrong <gasps> sorry is it a crime to not like someone back is it a crime to be friends with someone that you're friends with like uh, i don't know like if roles were reversed and we were getting mad at a girl for not noticing. I don't know, girl. I just don't like that narrative. Like, I think a friendship is a friendship and you act accordingly. Like, what he said about her, about like, oh, we'd never co- That was unfriendly because you, like, why would you even say that about a friend? You would just say like, oh no, she's just my friend. So that's why that was rude. But it's not rude for him to not return her feelings. I feel like that's a lot of the sentiment that people have. And I want Penelope to see him as just a friend so I can, see their friendship in a neutral state you know what i mean maybe maybe that's just me yours as they are first how delightful to see your splendid weather we are having and i'm i'm really glad to see that scene because it gives more light humorous i feel like a lot of the scenes in season two that's probably why they annoy me so much between penelope and colin were so serious and like just like kind of corny i want to see that light-hearted friendship that they have you know their rep Reportee, reportee, you know, a little back and forth. Give me banter. He said, "Stop talking like that. Stop with the negative self-talk." So, Eloise is kind of clearly going to be an antagonist in the season because she knows the tea, which rightfully so. Like, <laughs> okay, so this dress, like, I don't like it i don't know what to say i don't i don't know yeah yeah i'm here for the other outfits i do believe that yeah. who are those dancers oh just random dancers primary force that guides us along okay francesca okay where do i know that man from i don't know this trailer i don't know why it was a little bit underwhelming for me but that doesn't mean anything a trailer doesn't mean that the show's gonna be underwhelming in any way it's just i just found like this trailer was just okay seems like um, Eloise is going to be more of an antagonistic force in this season, which is really a contrast to the relationship between her and Penelope for past seasons. I'm actually really looking forward to what seems like the lightheartedness and like jokes that's going to be in the show, like seeing Penelope fumble with the suitors and like him helping her out. I feel like there's a lot of points for comedy, even in the clip that they released where Penelope was like rizzing. <laughs> Colin and then she's like uh yeah that's what I would say if I liked you or whatever and he was like oh yeah it's like yeah okay got it like that was that was funny that was comedy it was giving like 
<laughs> funny haha. -ha. I really hope that we see a lot of that in the season. I think that'll be a nice contrast because I feel like all the whistle down stuff will bring the seriousness to the show. And then maybe like Colin Penelope's relationship will be the lighthearted part of the show and it'll like balance out. So yeah, I don't know. How are you guys feeling? Did it ignite the flame in you? Are you excited, nervous, skeptical, you know? Let me know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. I will definitely be doing a video for part one and part two um, in terms of like my, my funny edits and definitely recording a podcast about it. So feel free to subscribe because when you subscribe, you get what? 99% hotter. Yep. Ask the other subscribers. That's not something I would make up. That's just a statistical, scientific fact. So definitely do that and see, see how your life changes. But anyways, I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Darling. You.